Dave Maher, Shy Golf TV, back once again to help you make a good club selection choice if you miss a green. Now I've just come over the back of this par four, but before I play the shot, I want to show you a couple of different ways because it's a bare lie and a bare lie can often cause problems, especially when you've got to flip the ball up. The reason I might think about flipping the ball up is because I've got this bank, this six or seven foot bank before I come up onto the green. Now, a lot of PGA Tour players who practice every day might come down to a lie like this where the ball's sitting in a bare position and think, do you know what? I'll just flip that up on top of the green, release it down to the flag. We all like to watch that little ball that checks down and goes to about a foot, but it's not always easy for amateur players to play it. I see a lot of amateurs do this, even though they've watched my videos. They go and duff it. Now, the problem with duffing it is it can come back to your feet, it comes up very short. It's also a very high tariff shot to play a 60 degree wedge off this bare lie, especially when you've got some really good options. There's three, cl there's three clubs that I would suggest from here that really will cause you no problem at all, no matter what the lie is. First of all, the six iron. Players get too much loft in their hand from positions like this, especially when we've got a bank to run up and there's very little grass there, so we don't need to worry about it snagging up. So a six iron choice from here, we can play the six iron almost like we would a putter. It doesn't matter about the strike, the ball's just gonna run up there and really give us a chance for bird uh, to up and down it. So this six iron is basically just played from the back of your stance, hands forward, and just almost use a putting stroke the ball will run up that slope very easily and go up pretty close to the hole. The next option we've got is the three wood. Again, it really doesn't matter what the lie of the ball is, the three wood's gonna be very consistent. This just comes out just like a putter. Simple way to play it and very, very consistent. You don't have to think about the strike, which really takes the pressure off. And finally, I want all you amateur players to understand, it's no big deal to get the putter out if you miss a green. What we're trying to do is get the ball in the hole in the fewest amount of shots. And if you feel like it's the putter's the best choice, don't be afraid to take it. So from here, I can just use the putter, roll out that bank, and it's gonna be very consistent, and I'm not gonna to have to worry about duffing it. So there's three simple club choices for you to play. Instead of getting the 60 degree lob wedge out and going for the high tariff shot, think about your golf and your scores will definitely be lower. You're watching iGolf TV, the place to be where we're making you smarter, better and keeping your scores at the best you can do.